hold them off much longer, Captain Starbeam! Defeat is not an option! <laughs> The Dargons. The fate of humanity hangs in the balance. <sighs> Powerful performance. Mm. Why can't Principal K send us on a normal mission for once? <laughs> I saw a posting for an intergalactic crossing guard in Space Cadet Quarterly. Perfect. I won't have to battle bizarro aliens, and I get to wear one of those cool neon jackets. He found us. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot if you were trying to miss. <laughs> okay, so it works. But of course, the ionic globule lobber is state of the art. It's perfect for safely ensnaring targets. Ugh, and perfect for ruining shoes. These were brand new hair nebulas. Just for you, I'll throw in a replacement pair with the lobber. Give my regards to Principal Kirkpatrick. It was a pleasure doing business. Ugh, I've heard of sticky situations, but that is ridiculous. Stop the ship! Stop right now! What? Why? We're right by the moon! You know where all the TV studios are? Where they happen to be filming the season finale of Cosmic High? Cosmic High? Oh, it's only the hottest teen space show in the entire universe! Still not caring. Well, I care! We have to stop! They're holding open auditions! I've seen an episode or two. CG effects are good. The alien languages were created by a linguist specialist, and the main set is a scaled version of an actual shuttle. You've seen an episode or two? Okay, so I've got the first eight seasons on my Crystal Sync memory chip. And I also have a toy set. I have to go to that audition. Otherwise, I'll karaoke you until your head hurts. I've got a cosmic crush. It's okay, okay. But the minute your audition is over, we're out of there. Yes! <gasps> on the set of Cosmic High! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Yoko this nervous before. Don't jinx her! If she nails this audition, we won't be just watching Cosmic High, we'll be living it! Uh, hi, my name is Yoko, and I'll be reading for the part of the first mate. And... action! Everyone to your battle stations! She's not bad. Excuse me, but have you considered interviewing for the position? I'd like you to be my first mate. Uh, no, I, I couldn't. Uh, I don't know the first thing about- Nonsense! I can tell just by looking at you that you'd be perfect. You're a natural. But, but- <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He'll be reading for the part of first mate. And action! Everyone, to your battle stations! <laughs> Cosmic High must not fail. Fall. <laughs> and the award for best acting doesn't go to Josh. <laughs> in 
the script? I had special effects rig the consoles to blow so I could see how well you improvised. Alien attackers can be extremely unpredictable. You did what? I merely got you to give the performance of a lifetime. With techniques like that, your lifetime could be a short one. Uh, don't call us, we'll call you. Josh. Huh? Think about what? Getting the part. Because you'll be more disappointed when you don't. It's just as well. That crazy fear almost put you in the infirmary. Hmm. Is that my game or a jealousy alert? Me? Jealous? Oh, excuse me for showing genuine concern for a fellow marshal. Yes? Uh-huh. I see. I see. Thank you. <gasps> what do you know? I got the part. What? That's so unfair! This has to be a mistake! Probably. Either way, I'm not sure I even want to be on a cheesy TV show. Nebulon Studios has finally found a new first mate for Cosmic High, their wildly popular sci-fi show. Then again, maybe I should give this TV thing a try. What do you think you're doing, Jake? My homework? Well, I expect you to hand in your assignment along with the other students. Don't worry, Mr. W. You'll get my assignment first thing tomorrow morning via airmail. <laughs> and that's a cut. I won't really have to hand in any homework tomorrow, will I? Ah, I'm merely acting, my boy. Would someone bring me a cesium spritzer? Oh, monkey see, monkey do. Captain, the laser cannons are taking quite a hit! Get those cannons online now! Find your motivation, Josh. That will propel you into the ranks of great actors such as myself. We can't take much more of this, Captain Starbeam! <sighs> enough is enough. Are the cannons online, first mate? The cannons are online, Captain! Then let's do what we came here to do and defend this planet! The fate of humanity hangs in the balance! That's a cut and a wrap! Beautiful, Vera! Nice work, Josh. Oh, you're a great first mate, Jake. Thanks for getting those cannons online. Aye, aye, Captain. I can't tell you how good it feels to have someone I can trust working beside me. Just remember that you and I need to stay focused. The fate of humanity hangs in the balance. Right. Thanks again for the gig. I've got to get going. Nonsense. I've had them extend your contract for the full run of the mission. It includes your own luxury cabin. It's fully loaded, all the latest in R&R &R technology. Tempting, but what about school? We have an excellent private tutor. I'm sold. Okay, first mate. If you need anything, you just let me know. Now, with my crew assembled, Galaxy High doesn't stand a chance. Uh, now this is the life, Fluffy. Oh, Fluffy, can you take care of this noisy crowd? I gotta call Yoko and Brett. Yoko, Brett, what's up? Josh, where are you? You were supposed to help us wrangle this poodleite. Yeah, change of plan. I'm staying here until the season's over. After the way Vera almost detonated you into the next millennium? You can't be serious, Josh. That's right. Besides, we need you here. Wrangling poodleites is a three martial job. Well, get Spavid to help you. Listen, I gotta go. This acting thing is emotionally exhausting. Not to mention physically explosive. Josh, you were supposed to be back here hours ago. Oh, sorry, but school's gonna have to wait. I'm the new first mate on Cosmic High. Cosmic High? Well, that's my favorite show. Can you get me under the set? Listen, I'll see what I can do, but I have to go. My personal trainer will be here any second. Later! Josh is on Cosmic High! I wonder if he needs a manager. whoop de doo
<laughs> oh, coast clear. I guess the paparazzi likes to sleep in. <laughs> oh, this weaponry should do the trick. Vera? Whoa! Who goes there? Relax, it's just me. Ah, uh, well, I had a few modifications to make to the ship. Oh, were you here all night? Uh, look over my captain's log, Jake. It's going to be a busy day. Log? This is the script. Now that I have your attention, today is a critical day, and I need you to look extra sharp. We've been building to this moment all year, and I am counting on you. I know we're shooting the season finale, but she's taking this a bit seriously, don't you think? We are about to embark on our greatest, most dangerous mission ever. The cannons are online, Captain. Then let's do what we came here to do and defend this planet. The fate of humanity hangs in the balance. Oh, that should be me, not Josh. It's hard to believe, but television has actually reached a new low. And where'd she learn how to act? It's not her acting that worries me. Don't you find her intensity a little disturbing? Extremely. What are you getting at? I think it's about time we found out who the real Vera Starbeam is. Hmm. Typical B-movie resume. Aliens everywhere, alien infestation in 3D. <gasps> Wait a second. What's this? Officials say Vera Stiles, commander for a cargo company, was arrested after police discovered she was mounting anti-alien defenses on her vessel. Wow. Sounds like someone was suffering from some pretty kooky delusions. Josh is in danger! Come on! First mate, have you located the position of the enemy? Enemy? I thought we were doing scene 8, not scene 24. What did I tell you about staying focused? Now, locate the enemy! Uh, Vera, can you take the energy down just a bit and try to stick to the lines? Take it down when the fate of humanity hangs in the balance? What we need to be doing is taking it up! <laughs> <laughs> Modified the set. It's actually operational. Laser cannons and missiles online. Uh, okay, this brings a whole new meaning to reality TV. Oh my gosh, it's so you didn't tell me about this. We're flying. We're actually flying. Now get me down. Everyone to your battle stations! The time has come to destroy our nemesis, Galaxy High! This is no time to be reading the script! This is Starbeam's log! She's gonna attack Galaxy High! Why are you whistling? Well, I... Uh, whistle when I... when I'm nervous and I... Uh, when I play Mr. Woe's Cleep! Uh, we have to get out of here! <gasps> My god! Traitors! This is a mutiny! Oh my god! Oh, no! <laughs> huh? You! Wait! Let me help you, Captain! What are you doing? Silence, traitor! Secure the cell! Good work, first mate. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's mutinous scum! Let's get back to the bridge. We've wasted precious time. First mate, put us on an intercept course for Galaxy High. Aye, aye, Captain. And bring up the intelligence report. Let's see if my computer virus managed to infiltrate their security grid. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Excellent. All their weak points revealed. Time to expose Galaxy High as the diabolical force that it really is. Down with Galaxy High, Captain. Students brainwashed by the great puppet master Kirk Patrick into believing they're fighting for a noble cause. <gasps> you traitor! <gasps> Give it up, Starbeam! <gasps> Take cover! I should have known you were working undercover for Galaxy High! I think it's time we made a tactical retreat. Let's see if the good 
captain likes the taste of my tail smoke. You think? Hey, do we still have the ionic globule lobber on board? Aye, aye, Captain. Good. We're gonna need it. <laughs> oh, this is the end, Galaxy High. I'll finally put an end to your evil influence. <laughs> What's this? A Galaxy High Advanced Scout. Actually, it's your first mate. Remember me? Only too well, traitor. Prepare to feel my wrath. I can pull off the landing, but are you sure you can jam her sensors? Don't ever question my genius. That's my man! Got any bright ideas? Episode 137, A Hero Comes Home? It's one of my favorite episodes, when Starbeam and Mr. W are stranded on planet Tordakis. Right! Uh, uh, right. In the episode, we discover that if you hit this button on the captain's command chair, it leads to a secret escape pod. Whoa. Nice, Brett. Way to take the pressure off. The fate of humanity rests in the balance. It is over. <laughs> he did it! He did it! Oh. <sighs> Control activated. Check. As usual, I owe you marshals a big thank you. Could I, uh, get your autograph, Miss Starbeam? The devious leader of the most nefarious organization in the universe? Never! Ooh, that's rough. Oh, <laughs> give her time and a little therapy and she'll come around. <laughs> 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 the fate of humanity rests in the balance. Now that's a captain. I don't know. Starbeam definitely had a je ne sais quoi. My name is Josh, but you might know me better as Jake from Cosmic High. What solar blazes is this? When it comes to battling intergalactic baddies, you can really work up a sweat. And that means one thing. Smelly socks and toe jam. That's what? I, I didn't say that. They dubbed over my voice. Ah, uh... Well, you should have read the fine print in your contract. <laughs> <laughs> 